Hi guys, it's Dr. Mohamed Usman and I am back with another video. Uh, if you haven't liked my YouTube channel, do visit my YouTube channel and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated. You can also visit my Facebook page for updates. So let's talk about today's topic. So today I will be talking about how you can do two sample t-test in Minitab. Previously we have talked about how you can conduct one sample t-test in Minitab. Uh, as we can see that the two sample t-test is also used for two groups who can uh, differ among each other and we can also use the two sample t-test to find the differences among two different groups. It is also used to find out that which group is better than the other group and it is also used for the comparison of a single group to a specific amount. So we can uh, do the two, two sample t-test. Uh, for differences of any size that you can consider important and you can calculate a range of values that is likely to contain the true, true difference between different groups. So the data required for this is uh, already we know that it should be a numerical uh, data and it should be a continuous data. It can be a data of uh, any two brands of the concrete, it can be a data of any, any two different cars, uh, it can be a data of uh, two different uh, hospitals working in the same field. But in this scenario today, we will be uh, talking about a health management firm which has samples of satisfaction rating from its former patients of two different hospitals. For this one, we will load a file from uh, the worksheet like we previously do in our uh, different scenarios. Uh, if you cannot see this mini tab folder over here, like uh, I cannot see, I will just click over here and I will go into the mini tab folder and i will just load up the hospital ratings.mtw which is the file uh, containing the data about the ratings of two different hospitals i will just click it open and over here you can see that there are three different samples uh, uh, in which we have uh, a is the group one b is the group two rate is from the hospital and rates are according to the hospital a and b over here so some of the hospital has more rating and some of the hospital has less rating. So to calculate the two sample t-test, I will go over the basic stats and I will just click two sample t-test. You will be having this window open over here and it will be asking you that if you want both samples in one column. But actually our samples are in different column if you can uh, see below. So I will say that each sample in its own column. I will click over here and I will have two columns over here. I have to select the sample column, not the rate column. And our uh, this one you have also some kind of graphs that we have uh, individual plot and we have the box plot used over here. You can use both of them for the calculation and for understanding of your chart. So when I will click OK, it will be plotting charts plus the both of the samples. So when I will click it, you can see over here we I have a box plot and I have an individual plot over here. So we'll be talking about both of them one by one in this one. When we are talking about two sample t-test for A versus B, we can see that A had uh, 10 variable, B had 15 variable. A has uh, 80 mean, B has 59 mean. The standard deviation of A is 10.6, B is 14.2 and standard mean is 3.4 and 3.7. So the difference uh, uh, estimate among A and B is 21.70. And the confidence interval lies between 11.38 to 32.02. The t-test of the difference is equal to 0 versus uh, not equal to the value. So the t-value is 4.36 and p-value is 0, 0.0 and the difference is 22. So talking about this one, what it uh, provides you and uh, what is the understanding of this one. I will be talking in detail about these variables. So talking about the interpretation of uh, the data, we can say that the hypothesis are H0 and H1, the difference is 0 and the difference does not equal to 0. And when we are talking about the confidence interval, we can say that uh, uh, the data analyzed over here uh, of 95% or we can say that 0.95 confidence interval was constructed. The interval tells you that based on the sample data, you can be 95% confident that the difference between group A and group B is greater than or equal to the 10.79 and less than or equal to 32.61. Since the reference value of 0 is not within the confidence interval, you can reject uh, H0 with 95% confidence and conclude that population means are not the same. 
so working on the further uh, interpretation of uh, its test you can it can say that the hospital satisfaction data the t value is around uh, 4.36 and the p value is uh, associated with 0000 when minitab is displaying the p value of 0 it means that the actual p value is less than 0 0.0005 this p value indicates that there is uh, less than a 0.05% chance that you would have obtained your samples if group a minus group b was actually zero so when we are interpreting the different graphs like the individual plots and uh, our second plots uh, we can just say that you know, what are the meaning of these one so uh, in this one we can say that uh, individual plot and uh, it tells you uh, that the hospital satisfaction data you see that the data for each sample appear to be roughly normally and distributed which is a condition for using the test it is also evident that mean satisfaction in the hospital a sample was greater than for the uh, hospital b this was confirmed by the results of the t test if we can see uh, before our hair it can be just concluded uh, from the results of this test, we can see that the values of uh, group a are greater than the group b Similarly, like when we are talking about the box plot and its uh, interpretation we can say that uh, actually that the medians for each sample are very similar to the means the mean satisfaction was greater for hospital a than the hospital b this was confirmed by, uh, by also the results of the t test the spread of the data appears to be about the same for both samples expect that the sample b has a slightly longer upper tail than the sample b we can see that over here uh, the sample B has a slightly longer tail uh, than the sample A. So this uh, uh, was the way to conclude the two sample T test and working on its graph. You can work on it and you can conduct your experiments and by when you will be conducting experiments you will be uh, becoming more evident on uh, conducting the two sample T test. So this video was up to here. If you like my video, do visit my YouTube channel and like and subscribe to it. You can also earn training certificate from our video channel. The process is as follows and it is easy for you. We have issued many certificate for many participants and you can also uh, get uh, special certification certificates. So what you are waiting for, go today to my YouTube channel and like and subscribe to it. Thank you.